I'm going to show you how to design this Easter flyer with Adobe Photoshop and we start right now. Hello you guys, my name is Dennis, welcome back to another video. If this is your first time here and learning graphic design, Adobe Photoshop or Adobe Illustrator or understanding the business side of things looks like your interest, consider subscribing because I make videos related to that weekly so without further ado let's jump straight into it so once you open up photoshop this is the screen you see and pretty much i'm using adobe photoshop 2021 to make this flyer okay so let's click on create new and once you click on create new it brings up this dialog box and you have to set your preset and pretty much i have my unit set to pixel and i have 2000 by 2000 pixel that's my width 2000 and my height 2000 as well and i'll leave my resolution at 300 and i understand that if you're making a flyer for social media of course this flyer is going to be used on social media it's not going to be printed you can always use 100 pixel per inch but you may not know if your clients will later in future want to print it as a large format or large file so you just have to use 300 pixel per inch to save yourself from troubles in future okay so i'll leave it at 300 pixel per inch my color mode rgb and every other thing can remain as default click on create and it brings up this ad board you have to design on and if you are using any other workspace or maybe using maybe you have reset your workspace or something you can always come to windows and click on workspace and reset essentials make sure you are at essentials default so you can be on the same page with me okay and i took my layers from here to here because i have a large screen and i can view all my layers just right here so you can just place your layers panel around here just like that or if you are good at leaving it where it is defaultly you can always leave it there okay so this is my ad board and everything i'm going to do on my ad board you will see it straight up okay so i have all the resources i'll be using for this flyer in here and i'll leave a link in the description so you can download them use them for your own design okay so first thing first i'm going to bring in my sky background just a drag and drop feature drop it in photoshop and it opens up like this so you hold alt and i'm using a windows pc so if you're using a mac understand that control is command and alt is option you know the substitutes in the different operating system okay so you hold alt and take it up take it up uh, open it up like that and place it around here and right click and click on flip horizontal and place it around here now i'm going to tell you why i flipped this horizontally later in the video okay so i'm going to place it around here take it up a little and i have my design here which is actually guiding me on what to do so i won't derail i have to do this exactly how i did it originally okay so place it around here and that's cool and i'm going to brush out this rough part of the background by adding layer mask but before then i like to rasterize my layer I'm going to make a video i know you guys will ask question how and why i rasterize but i'm going to make a video about that same thing with layer max i'm going to make a video about layer max okay so i'm going to click on add layer max with this icon here add layer max and then click on the brush tool and with your brush make sure your brush is a soft brush soft brush and the hardness zero see this soft round brush here and your hardness zero and you can adjust your size with the use of left square bracket and right square bracket it determines how large or how small you want your brush to be then i'm going to brush with my foreground set to black okay now the concept around this layer mask is that black hides and white reveals okay so black will hide the background and white will reveal so i'm going to use this brush and brush out this area so we have something that blends with the background just like that you can see how it looks you can always adjust your brush size if you want a more smooth transition into the background okay a smooth blending into the background okay something related to this 
and i'm going to bring in this image right here this image i'm going to bring it into photoshop click and drag and drop it here so it opens up in photoshop just like that so you hit on okay to place it right here so i'll take it up a little and hold alt to reduce the size evenly now when i hold alt to reduce the size it reduces evenly okay now in your own photoshop it may not be alt okay if you're using a lower version of photoshop it may not be alt so you just have to know if your own is shift alt to adjust or transform object evenly like this okay so i'll place it at the center here and reduce it again something like that looks cool and perfect okay so i'll just place it around there and hit enter now pretty much that's it and next thing i want to do is bring in other stuff i have for this so i'm going to bring in this cross you know we are talking about easter so everything that should be coming into this flyer should be easter related stuff okay so I'll right click and click on flip horizontally okay reduce the cross and place it around here something like that looks cool you can adjust the size a little and that looks cool okay i'm just looking for a way to place it in such a way that it's perfect okay okay hit on enter once you're done with that then i'm going to bring this uh, i'm going to bring this particular layer you see i have my photo here my background here and this cross just comes in so i'm going to send it to the back so control left square bracket will send this to the back just as what you see here and bring this down a little and reduce the size a little okay that looks cool then um going to hit on this bring it down a little perfect okay so i'm going to adjust my uh, blending mode to see which one works perfectly but before then i would like to brush out these sharp edges so the same process again i like to rasterize so right click and rasterize layer for this image this cross and click on your layer max add layer max okay so I'll hit on my brush and with my foreground set to black. You know, I have a white layer mark, so my foreground needs to be black. Okay, so black height and white reveals. So if you have a layer mark that is white, use a black brush to hide the parts you don't want to see. And if you have a dark layer mark, use a white brush to open up or reveal all the parts you want to see. Okay, so I'm going to hide this part just like that brush around here just like that and hide it this way something like that looks cool so if you get something like this you're actually on the same page with me so i'm going to adjust my blending options so i can blend this um, cross with my background because it's looking different so i'm going to hit on my blending mode and toggle around with the different blending modes here so pretty much i think i used um hard light let's see which one works perfectly um hard light um okay linear light works perfectly so i'm going to leave it at linear light so pretty much that's the same uh blending mode i used linear light then I'm going to make some adjustments here because my background looks dull, image looks dull and all this stuff. So I'm going to click on my background layer and press Ctrl M okay, to bring up this curve adjustment layer and I'm going to adjust it this way. See the difference? Let me zoom in so you see the difference in the background. You see it pops up better than before. Okay, Something like that is okay not too much hit on okay so the background comes alive a little and you have my cross here okay and i'm going to add a little curve to this image here press ctrl m also and then we have something like that not too much okay just little okay looks cool so next up i'm going to type here this theme okay cross and resurrection so i'm going to type it around here because it's going to guide me on 
how to shift things around this flyer so i'm going to hit on my text tool and once my text tool activates so i'm going to hit on my text tool and once my text tool activates hit on the layer and start typing cross and resurrection okay Control A, it's actually coming up with white, so I'm going to press Control A to highlight all the text and change the color to black, okay? So I have a black text which I can view very well, okay? You can press Control T to transform and open it up like this and place here. Hit on OK. And press on T on your keyboard and break this text just like this. Press Control A and centralize okay centralize that looks cool then take it to the center press t again select or highlight cross and then we're going to make it larger than this by making it stay equal with resurrection something like that okay but then we're going to change this font to um a strike okay i'm going to leave all the fonts i'll be using in the description as well so I'm going to use a strike, a strike. Okay, so this is it, a strike, um, bold. Okay, bold. Very good. So this is what we get. I'm going to select cross and and increase the font. That looks cool. Then I'm going to highlight resurrection and click on my character. When you click on character, it brings this up. So you hold on your leading and adjust your leading. Now the leading is the space between lines of text okay so i want to close this line and take resurrection close to cross okay take it close okay so you can leave your leading at 21 okay something related to this and that looks cool so once that is done you can hit on ctrl t to transform and resize it again and you get something like this okay that looks cool take it up such that it goes close to where his hand is and place it at the center right there hit on okay once you're done with that and i'm going to send this below this image okay so control left square bracket to bring that layer down under this image so you get something related to this and really quick i'm going to make this same tutorial in my corel draw channel so if you've not subscribed to my corel draw channel yet click on the link in the description and subscribe to the channel course i'll be making exact same tutorial with corel draw in my corel draw channel so you can check it out if you're a corel draw user thank you so let's continue i'm going to highlight cross and give it a color related to our background hit on your color once you highlight cross just like that you hit on your color and let's check for a better purple color similar to what we have here something like that um i think this looks cool okay this looks cool so i'm going to copy out this uh, color code so i can use it on other text okay so i'll copy out this color code once you get this color this hex code you copy it so for this code you're going to use 380067 for your own so you can get the exact same color i used here copy it out and hit on ok and then select resurrection and hit on color and come to your color code and paste ctrl v so once you type in this color code it gives you this same color hit on ok and highlight and and hit on color and get this same color just like that uh, something related to this looks perfect nice very cool very cool hit on okay so let me show you the color code f 8007b so that's the color code there you can use it for your own design so you get this exact same code something like that is beginning to pop up and look like what we have here so next thing i'm going to do is to bring in this um whatsapp icons you are seeing around here and I'm not going to waste time typing all this stuff around the design pretty much this design was a very simple one so i'm going to bring in the whatsapp icons you seen around here. it's kind of 3d icon so i'll bring it in here and i'm going to open up the original file and drag and drop some things to speed up the tutorial so you won't have to waste time 
watching a long tutorial okay so i'm going to bring in the 3d icon i have it here drag and drop around here hit on okay now i'm going to bring this whatsapp icon to the top layer okay then place it around here let's preview uh design so we see how we place them so the first one will be placed here press ctrl t and reduce the size like that now you place it in such a way that the phone icon comes up a little so one can easily know it's the whatsapp icon okay you can reduce the size again till we get something related to this looks cool hit on ok and press ctrl t again to transform and bring this to this other angle and you get something that looks like this looks cool okay and with that we looking at it and trying to make sure it's the same okay the same with what i have here yeah, so i'll reduce the size a little that looks cool hit on okay then ctrl j to duplicate again no the shortcut to duplicate is ctrl j so if you didn't get it ctrl j or you can simply right click on the layer and click on duplicate layer it's as simple as that so once you press ctrl j it duplicates you take it to this other angle too place it around here this time around reduce it make it very small and place it around here and reason why i'm doing all this is to create this um create this emphasis that it's a whatsapp stuff okay whatsapp so ctrl j again and bring this down here ctrl t and reduce the size again place it around here that looks cool then for this one i'm going to hit on the layer i see it here on the layer highlight select it on the layer and click on filter i want to add some blur effect filter blur and motion blur cool so ensure your motion blur is let's say um 20 21 it's not too much okay okay let's leave it at um 28 not too much hit on okay so this is what we get related to the original design so i'm going to bring in this cloud i have here bring it to photoshop and it opens up like this so you can reduce the cloud and make sure the cloud is at the top layer now you may say i'm not renaming my layers and this is because i don't like renaming my layers when i'm actually designing but when i'm done i group everything and rename them which i'm going to show you how i do this is just like my workflow with photoshop i know a lot of people are so uh, basically they pay attention to details so much i do the same okay but in some cases i don't rename layers except when the job is overloaded with lots of layers then i rename them okay but i'm going to show you the workflow so what i do is i can select the 3d let's say the whatsapp icons i'll just select all the layers that has whatsapp icons once i highlight them i'll press ctrl g to group then i'll name that layer whatsapp icons okay so that's what i do so once i off the group you see all the icons are gone that's how i name my layers i don't name them singularly okay so let's continue so with my cloud background selected i'll place it around here ctrl t and reduce it place it around here and ctrl j to duplicate the layer again take it to this other side place it around here ctrl t to reduce the size and place it there so we get something that looks like this it looks cool and nice okay you can place this around here not too close okay that's okay then with that i think we are good to go so i'm going to bring in every other stuff let me just rush and open up the original document and let's drag and drop some things okay um the stuff like uh, okay so let's see all right so it opens up with the second concept i did and pretty much this was the second concept and this is the one i'll be doing with corel draw so i'll be doing this particular design with my corel draw channel on my corel draw channel so you can check it out but for this i just want to copy out some stuff here i'll just drag and drop some things here um i'll 
click on all these text i'll just highlight all these text which i'll be taking okay whatsapp and the powered by and the sponsorship so I'm, I'm just selecting the three layers and hold control click and drag take it to where you have your real design and paste it right there so i'll just place it here and press ctrl t to transform and increase the size just like that so it's cutting out but i'm going to adjust that okay and place it at the same time okay that looks cool that looks very cool hit on okay now i'm going to select hold shift click on cross and resurrection if you can't do that directly then you can always use your layers to select them hold shift click on um, the image itself and you can also hold shift select the two sky backgrounds and select the whatsapp icons all i'm going to do is to click and take it up a little so it brings up where we have this um for partnership and it's perfect okay so this is what we get i just dragged and drop because i don't want to waste my time to type all those stuff you get the design concept now okay so i'm going to drag and drop another thing here which is our time okay so get that perfect hold control drag and drop here control t increase the size place it around here okay that looks perfect hit on okay then we're going to change these sizes hit on highlight april and remember we copied a color code okay so i'll just paste the color code there so we have the same purple right there and same thing to 14 i would like to use the same color code on 14 but i need to create a difference here let's see what we did on our main design just right here. okay 14 has another color which is this purple here so i'm going to highlight that and give it that same purple color something related to that and hit on okay then i'm going to click on this um rectangle here and click on color and give it this purple color okay click on 8 pm and give it a white color highlight highlight 8 pm and give it a white color and that looks cool now if this process confuses you please watch the tutorial again and again and again because i've made this so slow and i explain everything bit by bit so you get the point and you'll be able to do this just like that this is just like a photoshop made easy tutorial okay i think this is supposed to come down okay that's cool and i'm going to bring in um easter program as well okay. and paste it up here sorry i just have to do a kind of drag and drop click on easter program and drag and drop it here so it comes up here and i'm going to change the size the color sorry to black okay highlight that and change it to black you can press ctrl t and transform it this way so it comes up just like that and place it at the center that's cool okay so pretty much this is how it's done then the last thing i'm going to do is to group my layers you see all my layers are just scattered okay so i'll come to where i have my time highlight everything there and ctrl g you can rename this to time that looks cool highlight the cloud when you select the boat layer press ctrl g and name it cloud that looks cool and for all these write-ups below i'll just place all of them on the same group and press ctrl g and name that um write-ups okay i'll just name it that way and my what my whatsapp icons are already grouped then everything about my background okay i'm going to name this cross easily and name this sky background okay sky just sky is okay and i'll highlight that and name this theme okay so that looks cool 
and this will be my image okay so i've been able to name my layers and that's cool and i forgot something here that's the theme i'll just take it around here and place it there okay ctrl t to transform and increase the size a little and change the color to black okay black looks perfect and that's it and i'm going to duplicate that layer ctrl j take it to the right sorry click on team copy take it to the right place here then i'm going to type with okay amos prosper now i adjusted my tracking so that's the, the space between the text is too much so i'm going to click on character after highlighting that change your tracking to zero okay so it's going to come together just like what you see here with Amos Prosper. Okay, that looks cool and very nice. Place this around here. I know it's not too visible, but it's okay. Okay, just place it around there. Okay, for the sake of this tutorial, let's just leave it that way. Okay, then I think I need to brush this background a, a little so you can see what I have here. The white is not too much you can just take this background up a little something like that okay looks cool then with your brush select the layer max here and make sure your brush is set to foreground black so we have something that looks like this perfect then um so that looks very very cool okay so we have all our layers just like that everything has been set to the different groups so pretty much this is how to design this flyer with photoshop okay now there is something i like to show you which i used to make my flyers to pop at the end of my flyer designs not all my flyers but some i like to select all my backgrounds press ctrl j i know there is a shortcut that can do this easily but i can't remember right now okay ctrl g to group and let me show you that again maybe you did not get it i had to highlight from the top layer to the last layer and i press ctrl j ctrl j to duplicate all the layers and press ctrl g so i have everything in one place right click on that group layer and click on merge group so you have this jpeg file just right here you see so that's it then click on image selecting that group layer click on image trim and trim top bottom left and right hit on ok and that trim is to take off all the extra edges we had during the design okay so we have something that looks like that ctrl z okay so once you get that done you click on filter and camera raw filter now i use this to make my flyers pop Okay, and make some adjustments let's see what it looks like then i'm going to adjust my temperature a little plus seven plus 12 is okay adjust the exposure okay reduce it to minus 0 0.95 you just have to be careful so you don't overdo everything here okay then you adjust your contrast okay adjust your highlights perfect just follow these settings shadows uh, i like to increase my shadows a little and my white i'm going to reduce my white a little and my blacks uh, just toggle around and see what works perfect now this is where it makes the whole thing look crispy clean okay on your clarity i'm going to increase my clarity oh my god this kills me man okay plus 28 okay then vibrance is going to be uh plus eight perfect and a little saturation plus eight okay plus three looks perfect so this is what we get then i'm going to come to where i have my effects okay effects yeah and adjust my grain to 35 wow perfect hit on okay once you're done with that let's see the difference now this is the difference i'm going to toggle with this this is after this is before this is after so camera raw filter does a very good job you can watch tutorials around how to make perfect camera raw filters and i'd like to make a tutorial with it also so i owe you guys a lot of tutorials rasterize 
Leia Max and Camera Raw now, but you may not get it on time, you know, but I'm going to definitely do it. So this is what we get as our final product. Click on file, either you export or you save a copy and save it as a JPEG file. Save it to any folder you want to and export. That's just much. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and share this video with a friend. And if you want to learn how to make this flyer with Photoshop, click on this video and continue watching. Thanks so much. See you next time.